Hi friends, welcome back to Global Nest. It's been a month, maybe more than a month that I have done a video because I was so lazy because of the, maybe because of the climate. It's like I was not able to make a video. I was really, I was feeling lazy. Mm. Every time when I get off, I was, I'll think like I will make a video, but I was not able to. So yeah, at last today I decided that I will make a video. Then yeah, in today's video, I will explain how I'm going to apply for a driving license in UK, a UK driving license. Because as I mentioned in my old videos, uh, I told you all that we can drive in UK using an India license for the first one year. Like if we reach, I reach here in March, March 11th, so I can drive using an Indian driving license until March 10, 2021. From March 11th, 2021, I'm not eligible to drive in UK using an Indian driving license. So I have to get my UK license before March 10th, next year, March 10th. It's like it's only four months remaining. And nowadays it's not so easy to get a UK license because of this COVID pandemic conditions. Mm, all our procedures are getting delayed. And it's a step-by-step -step procedure to apply for a UK license. So first I'm going to apply for a provisional license so we need to apply it online i will explain how i'm going to do that i will just do one thing i will capture the screen so that you can see how i am going to do that so whenever you want to apply for a uk driving license you can just go through my video and it will explain you clearly how i did that so you can do the same and today i will just show only how i apply for the provisional license then once i get the uh, provisional license i will update you through another video and i will explain each step by step of how to apply for a uk license in my different videos and i will make it into a folder in the youtube and you can watch whenever you want so that you can apply for that without any help okay so let's begin hi guys so let's apply for the dvla for the provisional license so first click on the Google Chrome in your computer. Then just type here DVLA application. So I already typed a while ago, so it was it's automatically came there. So it is DVLA application for driving license. Just click on that. So it will directly take to a page, new page. Here you can see browse driving license government.uk and here there is a step apply for you, your first provisional license so just click on that button then it will take to a uk government page get your first provisional driving license for a moped motorbike and car from dvla online to apply you must be at least 15 years and nine months old and you should be able to read a number plate from 20 meters away so you should be coming under these two categories then only you can apply for a driving license a provisional license so just click on the start now button if you are eligible so when you apply for a provisional license just keep your brp card and your bank details ready with you because they may ask this during the application so here you can see during your transaction please don't use the button on your browser you should only use the buttons on the bottom of each page and you should click these only once please have all your documents to hand as the service will time out when not in use just click on the next button if you are ready then the VLR committed to upholding the security of your data. We use industry standard security technology and practices to safeguard your data from any unauthorized access so that you can be confident in using our service. We have prepared some information on the security of your online transactions, which you can view now by clicking the link below. You will also find this link on the logon page. They mentioned that all your data, everything will be secured to safeguard from any unauthorized access so you can if you are okay you can click the next button then here you, you need to start filling your application so first we will start i will do my application so i'll choose mr i don't have any other title so i just i will just leave this box 
then my phone name so I will choose Tinto that's my phone name then I will give my surname so this phone name and surname should be based on your BRP card okay then go to your gender choose your gender then date of birth just to prove that you are eligible for your professional driving license then your country of birth so you can choose a country of birth depends on your passport details so i'll choose india so if you are confirmed with your details you can click the next button so just check before you go to the next so I will, i'm sure i will just click on the next button then yeah so now it's asking for the address in uk uh, please enter the address that you require on your new driving license so uh, just i will click i will just click on my postcode that is le27gn i'll enter my postcode then i'll click on next button so that it will show all the flat number coming under that postcode from there i will choose my flat that is 21 grand Scott Valnut street then if you found your postcode then you can click on the next button <coughs> so it will show the address for my flat so i will just check 21 green squad balance straight last year to 7 gn so yeah i'm sure about that so i will click on the next button so the next is time lived at the current address so how long have i been in this address so i have to give the details so i have been here for the last eight months hmm, yeah so i'll just click on the next button Please tell us where you have lived over the last three years. So they need my last three year address. So I have to give the remaining two and uh, two years and four months details. Add address to where if you need to other ways to enter your address. So it's like I have not lived in UK after those eight months and those eight months so i need to enter my indian address so for that i need to click on the other ways to enter your address for that i will choose here your postcode your street and town a bfp address and a non-gp address so i'll choose a non-gp address hmm. then i click on the next then i choose india india yeah then I click on the next so they will ask me how long I have been in India uh, so I will choose like I was in India for zero and years and six months and I'll click on the next then I the, so I still need to enter one more address so I have worked in Kuwait uh, so I had to give the details of Kuwait as well So I'll go click Kuwait. I'll click on Kuwait. Then I'll click the next button. So how long I have been there? Four years and six months. Then I'll click on the next button. Yeah. So I have given my last three years details where I have lived. So I will click on the next button. Now they are asking for my telephone number, so I don't have a home telephone number, so I'll give just my dead time telephone number, that is my mobile number. Then my birth surname, that is so the same what I have. And my mother's maiden name, which I ended on. Then my place of birth, that is Kulu. These all uh, on your based on your passport details. Then they need my national insurance number now. So you can find your national insurance number on the back side of your BRP card. 
so I'll just enter my number and I need to retype once I'm sure I will click on the next button then they are asking for the UK passport number but I just live here for only for eight months now so I'm not a UK citizen for that reason I don't have a UK passport so I will just click the next button without entering any details here I'll click on the next button <clears throat> now they need some more details regarding my residency you can only get a GB drive license if you are normally resident in Great Britain. To be normally resident, you must usually live in Great Britain for 185 days in each calendar year. Mm. So it's like you can apply for a UK drive license only after after six months of your entry in the UK. Applicants who are not UK citizens or nationals of an European Union or EEA. I don't know what is EEA country, which will not be considered normally resident if they do not have leave to remain in the UK or are in the country on a temporary basis without leave to remain either while awaiting a decision to stay in the UK or following a decision refusing such an application. So that means if you don't have a long term visa, uh, if you are not working in the UK for a long term, um, you are not eligible to apply for a UK visa. So there are some questions. Have you lived in European Union or European Union economic area? So that is EEA in the last 12 months. No, I haven't. Uh, so you must, are you currently disqualifying from driving? No, I'm not. I don't have any driving offense, so I'm not uh, disqualified. Can you meet the legal eyesight standard for driving yes i can do you need to wear glasses yes i need to wear glasses then i'll click on the next button if you are not wearing using glasses you can click on the no then it's asking about some medical conditions uh, if you are suffering with if you have if you are suffering with any of these medical condition you need to choose that uh, and I will check for anything that is affecting my medical condition affecting both eyes or the main eye if you only have one I know nothing like that mm, Peter that time any other chronic serious problem resistant alcohol drug misery psychiatrics power can sleep apnea narco epilepsy any condition shall feel total loss sight in one eye any personal limb problems here. so I have no medical conditions so I will click on the next button. Then you have answered that you do not suffer from any other medical condition on the previous page or that you have previously told us about a condition that has not got worse. Please confirm this by ticking the box below. I confirm that I do not suffer from and have never had any of the conditions list previously or I have previously told DVLA about a medical condition that has not got worse. So I will click on that. Then I will go to the next page. So here is something about the organ donation. DVL is working with the NHS to encourage organ donation and save life. Uh, so I will, I want to join NHS. So I want, I don't want to do it right now. So I would like to complete my DVL driving license application first and I found, find out more when I have finished. So I'll click on that. So they will ask for your mail ID. So just give your mail ID confirm and then click on the next button i understand that it is a criminal offense to make a false declaration or withhold material information in order to obtain a driving license and that to do so can lead to a prosecution and fine up to thousand pounds or imprisonment for a period of up to two years or both so whatever whatever details you have given in this application it should be correct okay so don't try to fool them if they find they will find you up to thousand pounds or a imprisonment for up to two years so if you are sure please click on the confirmation button and the next button so again you have a chance to check all your answers just make sure that you have given all the details clearly Mm -hmm. 
so we need to make a payment of 34 pounds now then only we can confirm our dvla provisional license application form okay so click on the next button then i have to enter my card details so i have all my card details on the google so i will choose my card details then i will give I will click on the save ec button and I will confirm my payment due to security reason I cannot show that here in the screen. In order to complete your application DVLA require you to do one more thing you must send some information to DVLA you will receive an application form in the post please allow one week for delivery please complete this form and return it to DVLA so that your driving license application can be submitted for validation checks. Your driving license is an official document and all applications are subject to DVLS identity checking system. There will be delays in processing paper application that are sent to our office. This is because we have reduced number of staffs in our building to comply with social distancing. Thank you for your patience during this time. Please print this page and or make a note of the application reference number in case you have a query. So driving before your new license, you must not drive until you receive your driving license and the license become valid. Your health, if you have a medical condition that could affect your driving, you must tell us immediately for more information. So I'm happy with that. So I'll, this is my application reference number. So I'll click on the next button. Yes, I'm done with that. So I'll go to the home. And I'll close my screen so I have applied for my provisional license for that what they will do is they will send me a form via post in my address which I have given now and I need to fill that form and I need to apply a photo to that and I have to send my original BRP with that form to their address that I will explain when I do that okay so that's all about our professional license application so thanks for watching my video see you soon